everything is basically packed and done. Actually, it's a really cute space. I don't want to turn the camera around, but yeah, so cute, cute little studio that we loved, enjoyed. Shower, all that jazz, a nice cute little kitchen. So, a few more hours and then we can say goodbye. But yeah, anyway, so I'm just gonna take the trash now. Okay, now that I can smell, um, yeah, these trashes smell like shit. Trash is ready to go. And then this book I'm gonna leave out. Bye, bitch. In the next book. I'm gonna put in this little library that doesn't have a lot of books inside usually. Um, they have algebra, emerging markets, basic economics, the algebra. So this will, so I may not have enjoyed this, but hopefully maybe someone else will. So if you stay here, this Airbnb, just walk in through this door and then go up a few flights. Just really gorgeous greenery. L3. have your cute little airbnb just a nice little kitchen i swear when it's on one x it looks so much better it's gonna talk like color color grading wise versus 0.5 but yeah cute couch lights all around um nice bench i've never actually kept this whole window open before um i feel like that's lost but honestly i can't get some light anyway so it's fine um, cute bed, and then drawers. This is my outfits for tomorrow. Good all that. Everything's pretty much cleared out. I'm gonna take one last shower. Um, the shower's here. You can close it off with the curtain there. There's no door, but it's not really a problem. So I'm gonna have my last shower, and then clean up their towels. I took all the trashes out, put away my stuff when I finish them in the morning, and remember not to forget anything. Passport. Everything's in there. So yeah so excited and i have like two of these huge water bottles i love um i thought about bringing one of the ones to the airport but it's just too big and i just don't want to carry so much stuff thankfully thankfully my luggage is standing it's not leaning over um which means hopefully it'll fit or i don't have trouble again with someone stopping me and being like well you gotta take shit out even though it's the size and dimensions for a check-in bag but because it was protruding a little further even though it still fit in the bin, whatever. So I'm praying I don't have to. Um, I think I'm pretty okay, um, but like all over, all around. But I'm praying I don't have to take anything out of my check-in bag. I don't, I usually, my not check, carry-on bag. I don't do check, I didn't do a check-in bag for this journey, but I live by, stand by checked-in bags, bitch, for all your stuff and liquids and shit like that or anything you wanna bring back. Um, this trip was okay for a carry-on, but uh, I wish, um, just having had done just the carry-on as a first, I would not do that ever again. Unless I'm, like, backpacking, but even though I did that, um, not backpacking, I didn't do that, but when I was studying abroad, and I just used my Osprey bag, that still counted as a checked-in bag than just to carry-on. Um, so, you know what, checked-in bag if it girlies for days, because, bitch you gotta have your necessities in enough to be honest and after all this i was like i'm not pulling out anything more from my luggage ever again and um yeah i think i'm covered though and if honestly if i have a trouble then i'll just do the whole like put on layers of something which i don't want to do because it's really hot here 
but honestly i don't give a fuck i'm just like these bitches i hope they don't give me a hard time i mean it's not gonna be at, i don't know about this airport but just at the jfk at that terminal like they were giving me a hard time about it so it's whatever um but yeah so everything's sorted um and i'm ready i'm literally ready for tomorrow it could just be tonight literally i wish it could just be tonight but um one could dream but it's fine i'm gonna get an uber I can check out my Airbnb at 11 a.m., but I'm going to see how I feel when I wake up. If I want to chill here and watch Netflix for a little longer, if I just want to just get in the fucking Uber and get to the airport as soon as possible, even though I'm there, like, for 10 plus or whatever hours. I don't know. I can't do the math right now. But um, at least they have a Starbucks. But again, I don't know if they'll have vegan food. I'm hoping they might have something. If not, um, I'll just buy snacks if they have, like, a vendor stuff. So, yeah, anyway. My nose... Don't worry, it'll lose its projection, he said, um, in millimeters, so we'll see. Yeah, and the chin, chin, chin. Uh. I just find, like, interesting how, like, high it goes, like, in structure. That's why I say Pinocchio, but it's, like, kind of pretty. It almost looks like you could use my nose to, like, peck or tap on something. Like, you, it's, like, so pointed that, like, you could just, like text with it if you <laughs> but yeah anyway i'm gonna go um shower and finish my night bitch i have so many hours well it's i gotta kill time okay all right it's time to go to the airport i hate that i can't wear a mask um yeah we're off to leave we're leaving we're ready to go i'm anxious i don't know why i'm anxious today but I think I just hate the act of going to an airport. Like just being there alone, then goofing off with people like your friends. But anyway, we're ready. Okay. Adios. It's been real. Every time, every time I, um, cada vez, um, lo, um, el gente, uh -huh. la gente, la gente, uh -huh. um, aprende a yo con es, esos, esas, esas palabras, palabras. <laughs> sí, like, puta, pendejo, <laughs> like, todo así. <laughs> Eres una puta. <laughs> Porque Iowa. Iowa. <laughs> it's so random. Pagan más. Oh, oh, sí, sí. De, de aquí. Arriba, uh -huh. oh. Estaba en Houston. Oh, okay. En Houston, uh, cinco meses. Oh, five nice. Months in, in Houston. Did you like it? Uh -huh. ¿Te gusta, uh -huh. Asia? Sí, 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 sí. Sí, Houston sí me gusta. I like uh, uh, more. It's, it's many people. Oh, okay. Es, de, es como Monterrey. Oh, similar. Yeah. Me gusta la nieve. Okay. Yeah. Me gusta la nieve. Wait, what should I ask? Uh -huh. ¿Qué onda, güey? ¿Qué? ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué onda? Güey. Güey. Oh, okay. So it's like. Entre amigos. Entre amigos. Oh, nice. Oh, está bien. Give me a handshake. Sí. Antro. Antro. Ajá. Vámonos de fiesta. Vamos a la fiesta. Vamos a la fiesta. Uh, vamos a cenar. Vamos a cenar. Oh, go to dinner. Uh, vamos a cenar. Para comer. Uh -huh. Oh, comer. cenar. Okay. En la noche, sí. Uh -huh. Oh, sí, sí. Eh, vamos a cenar. Vamos a cenar. Vamos a cenar. Ok, en la mañana vamos a desayunar. Vamos a desayunar. Desayunar. Ah, oh, sí, pues. En la mañana. Sí, en la mañana. En la mañana. Okay. Al mediodía. Almuerzo. Vamos a comer. Oh, vamos a comer. Vamos a okay. comer. Ok. Desayuno, Desayuno. mañana. Desayuno, mañana. mañana. Vamos a desayunar. Vamos a desayunar. Ajá. Mediodía, vamos a comer. Mediodía, Ajá. vamos a comer. Vamos a comer. Ah, ok. Y la noche, Anoche. vamos a cenar. Vamos a cenar. Ah, ah está bien. Gracias, rápido. gracias. Aprende rápido. ¿Ves? Aprende rápido. Entonces, este, es cuestión de juntarte con la gente. Sí. Y escuchar y hablar. Sí, y, y uh, también el contexto. El contexto, sí, Ajá, sí. de cómo lo dices. Sí, el contexto. El contexto sí, sí. Sí. Vamos a perrear. 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 
Pear yai. Pear yai. Pear yai. Ah, so. Uh, Pear yai. Pear yai. Uh -huh. Ah, so. <laughs> No puedo mover ni compartirme en alto. Sí, sí, sí. Perrear. Perrear. Ajá, perrear. Entonces puedes tomar ese baile como otra cosa. Ah. Porque tú tienes ganas de irte a la cama con él. Ah, oh no. Yo entiendo. Oh, sí, es diferente. Ajá. Oh, wow. En Estados Unidos es más abierto. Yeah, it's more open. No se piensa así. Yeah. Pero en Monterrey no. Oh, wow. Somos más más machistas. Machismo. Ah, oh, sí, sí. Machismo. Entonces, yo te veo así, en que tú andas perreándome, y tú vienes y te me sientas y me perreas. Uh -huh. Entonces yo digo, ah. Ah, oh, yeah. No, es muy bien. I like it, come, I like it, bed. Ah, oh, you're sleeping with that, but you're not. Me la voy a llevar a la cama. Uh -huh. Pero tú no estás pensando eso. Yeah, you weren't thinking that. No, tú te estás divirtiendo. Uh -huh. Estás barrilando. Dancing. Yeah, you're there to dance, yeah, not to right? sleep. Yeah, yeah. Pero, yeah. Pero, yeah. Pero, ¿no? Sí, yeah, me lo like Los hombres sí, machismos. Allá está bien. Sí, sí. Entonces, mucho cuidado. Cuidado, ok. Ah, con las palabras con las y palabras. gracias. Okay. Las palabras, el gracias. contexto. Y contexto, sí, sí, sí. Gracias. Dices este. Um, oh, for take, anyone? Anybody? Take care. Take care. Take care. Oh, ok. Take care. Cuídate. Ah, oh, cuídate, cuídate. cuídate. Uh -huh. I literally just got a free Spanish lesson, so when I get Wi-Fi, I'm gonna give him a huge tip for the lesson. But at first, I was like shook when he started talking about curse words. But then, thankfully, the conversation I felt safe, and it was just a very good conversation. I was learning a lot, so I love that. Um, but now I'm gonna go try to explore the airport since I'm here till like 11 p.m. and it's like probably 11:30 right now or 12. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna familiarize myself and then get food and find a place to read. I usually don't like veggie veggie burgers, but this is so delicious. Like, oh my gosh. Impressed. never thought I'd see land. The way I'm literally about to throw, I'm gonna throw my suitcase into the freaking laundry, literally, and shower and sleep. I'm literally so happy I'm home. I never thought I'd see the day. It feels surreal, so I'm really glad. Really but now I'm gonna order an Uber and head home, but I'm so happy. Oh, 
don't sneeze. Hola. I am home in my bed, able to sleep on my back. So happy, but let's talk for a little bit to end this fog. There's definitely other stuff that I haven't included that I'll probably remember to later, but yeah. I'm home, bitch. I'm home. So surreal, actually. This, so I've definitely traveled before and have come home, even if it's been like um, a short to long period of time. I've showered. I've been doing my laundry. Bitch, so happy. I can't really smile as much still. Or I was able to smile more before. I think everything's kind of still... I mean, it's good in that way, where it's like almost I can't really smile. Um, as a reminder, bitch, like, stop talking or don't do it as much. And I'd be very careful. So, um, I just wanted to say I'm home. And, yeah, this is the first time where I've come home and it felt like a foreign place. Like, when I was in the Uber, we were driving back through, like, the familiar places um from the highway to the towns around my town from my town to the streets leading up to my house and it literally was the first time i've ever felt i was seeing everything as a foreigner rather than a feeling like obviously this is my everyday so over it or just like so comfortable in it but yeah it just felt so foreign because obviously i was in monterey for three weeks but i didn't think i'd get that feeling ever from here and it's kind of like bittersweet because it's like really if i'm here but it still feel foreign like it's the sense of still of like but i'm also not meant to be permanently here and feel in that way i just kept imagining edinburgh scotland and i just could feel and see and just like have that sense of like my surroundings my environment my everyday feels like home or feels like um, like, it's just, it clicks with you to come back to, to not feel foreign to, as, like, my, the rest of my life. I mean, I would love to live there one day if I could get the visa or citizenship to, or a job to, but I was like, you know, I don't know why that's coming to mind, but that's where I would like to never feel foreign to if I were to come back after a long trip, but, um... Yeah, it's kind of, it's quite interesting that I get to feel this perspective here. I still feel pretty jarred. Like, it feels jarring and surreal. So, it could be good, it could be bad. I'm really happy with myself socially, especially for Monterrey, just with how everyone was kind and hospitable. And I, like, clicked with a lot of people. Um, or they're more than welcoming with you. Like, just by you existing, you are of value. There's no hindrance to that or influence of pretty privilege or not that would devalue you it's like no if you're in the room with someone you're enough and i loved that it was just like immediate compared to america i was like i mean obviously it's subjective people can obviously be you know the same way with treating people based on how they look but honestly there it just was like friendly friendly so i'm hoping that translates with me here like um with how I am with myself, hopefully social anxiety, you know, working better through that, but also putting myself out there. And I'm like, obviously not experienced in job interviews. And when I am, I feel like I'm absolutely shit. I'm not shit, but for like in customer service interviews, but then the ones that aren't customer service interviews, I'm absolutely shit at. But I'm wanting to pray that maybe there was something in the magic of communicating with the people that I did in Monterrey or New Mexico where it just always worked out or I felt like myself or there's a synergy between you and the other person whether you're compatible or not but still that warm respectable inviting safe space of an energy I'm hoping I can carry that into hopefully the interviews I can um look into but wish me luck girl wish me luck for a remote job because I cannot be talking. I know I still look, I still look projected, like cartoonish, but you know, it's okay. It is what it is. It'll 
drop in millimeters and we'll see how it goes so yeah the hydrofacial obviously this was just beneath my skin that needs to come out the surface now still needs to get be rid of but the hydrofacial i definitely feel like i still am glowy i'm definitely like not as hyperpigmented as before it was kind of a rough feeling though that was like octopus sucking and i like where you feel like you wish you had more liquid than how rough it felt in the first half but you know it is what it is it did what it needed to do and i wanted to do it so i came home with the best skin in complementary to this or in case this wasn't giving my, the rest of my skin can be giving so i'm really happy with anna, what anna did and then i definitely realized yes my skin the products could still be pilling because my spf and moisturizer probably aren't on this under the same base but applying just my moisturizers definitely made a difference um and then just like how it just smoothly glides across my face after a facial it just feels like a lot healthier obviously i look white as hell because i couldn't get any sun and it will continue not to um but yeah anyway if this is the end of the video probably thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this rhinoplasty mentoplasty but really more of like day in the life while i was in monterey so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed these series, learned a lot, and continue to subscribe, like, comment, enjoy this channel. So yeah, I'm Michelle. Thank you again. Bye. Or oh, what they say? Just shit. What they say? Rest. Have a good rest. Rest. Descansa. Descansa. Or in the Uber, he said you could say, "Cuídate, por favor." Um, cuidado. Y que Dios, que Dios te bendiga. <laughs>